Welcome to Becoming Limitless. This is the podcast for entrepreneurs who want to optimize their life for freedom. I'm going to teach you how to upgrade your health, money, and mindset so you can have more energy, time freedom, and financial independence. I'm your host, Tanessa Shears. Let's jump in. Welcome back to the Becoming Limitless podcast. Oh my goodness. Okay, so in 10 days from now, we're setting off on our adventure. And if you haven't been following along with what's going on, basically about two months ago, our landlord sold the house and the person they sold it to was like, we want to move in. So as tenants, we're moving out. But we kind of decided something a little bit different this time. We decided that we're going to put, we're, we sold off, I would say at least half to two thirds of our furniture and everything else is going to be going into a storage locker and we're going to start traveling. We have a trip planned for September. We're going to be home um, October through December to spend some time with family. And then we're going to the Dominican for three months and then we'll be back a little bit. And then we maybe might go to Europe in the fall. So we are intentionally deciding to release home base. And I got to tell you, it's 10 days, 10 days. And I'm excited and I'm nervous and I'm scared. Um, but there's been a lot changing over here. It's such a weird thing, like selling off your furniture and deciding like, would I take this with me? Would I pay to store this in a storage locker? It's it's really kind of interesting looking at how many things that you only have attachment to because you're living in a house. But the second you don't have a house, there's not a lot of attachment to it anymore. Um, but anyway, so we're kind of going through this process right now of of lightening the load on the stuff that we plan to bring forward into our future. We're, we're ex- I'm excited. I know our girls are excited. It, it, we've got two and a four-year-old right now, and they're all excited, but I don't think they really understand that like we're never coming back home. We've been in this house three years now, and if you've been a longtime listener of the podcast, you'll probably remember when we moved into this house, um, when we started our whole financial independence journey. But this has been a wild three years. Our life has transformed so much since we moved into this house. You know, we reach financial independence, which means our investment income, cash flows, our expenses every month. So my husband quit his job and I got to lean more into my business. But, you know, just just naturally when when you kind of reach this different level of freedom and your cash flow, your expenses are covered, it's so interesting how your brain starts thinking of things differently, right? And so I wanted to in this podcast today kind of bring you in on behind the scenes, kind of what's been going on and the changes that are going to be happening to the podcast, right? Because after a lot of reflecting, and keep in mind, this is something I have been going through like in my brain for probably the last eight to 10 months. And there's just more to making life limitless than just energy and health, right? Like the whole idea behind this podcast is called Becoming Limitless. And it's this idea of finding the edge of what is possible, right? With your health, your energy, your clarity, and your focus. And I used to be really focused on having those as goals so that we could be more productive in the business, right? That was a lot of what this podcast has been about, but my values have changed since starting this podcast, right? Like I still value clarity and energy and focus, but I don't want those things just for the sake of being productive in my business anymore so that I can get more done, right? And I, my values have changed. Like things that I appreciate now are space and slowness and not overworking, right? If you've listened to episode 100, on this podcast, it was called When Is Enough Enough? And I went through that journey of realizing like, oh my gosh, all these financial business milestone goals that I've had, you know, successfully crossing off different income levels, these have all been other people's goals. Like what I saw online is like, oh, well, at the beginning, it was everybody else in this group is doing 10,000 a month. I should do 10,000 a month. And then I got into a group that the goal was 20,000 a month. And then I got into the goal group that where the goal was 30,000. And I remember asking myself, like, when does this end? Like, because then you go and join the million dollar group where everyone in the group is doing, you know, a million dollars a year and it just keeps going. And there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I was like, wait a second, when is enough enough? Like, at what point? I mean, I'm working five days a week. For me, I felt like I was missing part of my kids' lives and they only get to grow up once and I only get to be a mom once. I don't get to, I mean, I could, but I'm not going to be going back through the baby phase and doing this over again. And I had this kind of moment where I was like, oh, I'm at this stage where my life is more about the productivity in my business. It's more about 
freedom and it's more about time and impact and doing what I love and having life be fun and having life feel free, right? And so I, I'm i in this place now where I think I am ready to evolve. And I think becoming limitless, while it's great that we talk about energy and health, why I think energy and health is still like one of my most deeply valued pillars is because If you have energy and you have your health, it's such a beautiful way to be able to experience your life, right? From a place of energy and health. Like if I'm going on trips, I want to have the energy to get up every day and go on a beach walk and work out and go on hikes and go snorkeling. And I want my health so that I'm around a long time to do it. But me experiencing my life is just a different outcome than just for the sake of productivity in the business, which is what this podcast has been a lot about. It's like, how can we hack your brain so you're more productive in your business? So I'm wanting to expand, not leave behind productive days in the business, because I love that. But I really think that we are ready to expand what we define as becoming limitless, right? And this really, I think, started accelerating the rate of change that I have been experiencing on the inside since I was in Panama. Like if you have listened to our story at all, we went and did our first two month trip away from home. We did it to Panama earlier this year, January, February, and into March of 2024. And it was exactly the experience that I wanted. And I remember saying to a coach when I was just in December, right before I went, I said, I want to come back changed. And it's interesting, like my brain was thinking like a profound change, I will never be the same. And it didn't quite unfold that way. I did, I am now, I think, changed. My values have changed, but it wasn't this like instantaneous thing. It is something that has unfolded, not while I was in Panama, but when I came back to life here and I had just recognized that I loved who I was better on in Panama on vacation. I think we can all say that. But what I really wanted to start challenging myself was like, if I liked who I was on vacation or in Panama, what was I doing there that I was loving so much? And I was like, well, I was working less. I was spending more time with my feet in the sand and going swimming. I got outside every day. I did different types of workouts in the morning and, you know, there was no rush and I wrote in my journal more often and I spent more time with my husband. And I'm looking at these things and I'm recognizing like, oh, wait a second. These are the things that create a great life for me. These are the things I want to protect, not how many hours I could work so that I could make X amount of money so that I could fit into the next level mastermind, because that was how my brain has been focused for my business is over 10 years old. And that is how I had been focused. It's always about that next level, the next goal, the next milestone, and it's never enough. So when I interviewed Rob Murgatroyd on episode 100, and we talked about this idea of when is enough enough, and he said, enough is enough when it erodes the bandwidth for a great quality life. And so while I was in Panama, it was that contrast of coming home where I was like, oh, I feel like I have such a clearer vision of what a great quality life is. And so now I'm recognizing that becoming limitless is about the freedom to choose live to the life you want, to live the way you want. And that is having the health to experience it. It's having the mindset to actually slow down, be present and step out of that more for the sake of more and productive and perfectionism and all of that. And it's also about financial independence. I mean, I We go back over my podcast episodes. We're 130 something episodes in now. My most downloaded episodes have been part of what I've called the freedom series. And they're when I like just get on the mic like this and I talk about freedom, reaching financial independence, um, vision, doing life a different way. And so I feel like my podcast Becoming Limitless needs to evolve to include what I am now experiencing at that next level of Becoming Limitless, right? I'm evolving. And it felt inauthentic to just stay with health. I love health. It is still who I am and my identity, but I think we need to evolve. And it's interesting. I asked my Instagram audience, I put up a poll and I said to them, I was like, hey, um, I want him to start talking more about financial independence, how we did it, life of freedom. I want to start talking about vision. I want to talk about health. I want to just talk about 
that experience of freedom, should I start a new Instagram account to do it or a new podcast? And I kid you not, there was like a lot of votes on this poll. 95% voted for the option that said, let's evolve together. So the content on this account, and if you've been on Instagram, you've probably already noticed this, the content that I'm going to be sharing is evolving, right? And I'm sharing this because honestly, when I stepped back, freedom in my life, like, and if you really want to get into what, what freedom means, episode 109 is called tangible freedom. I talk about all the layers of freedom, right? There's work freedom. So you get to do what you want, when you want. That's part of owning a business, right? Then there is location freedom. Like, are you tied to a location or not? There is financial freedom. You know, do you have the option to work or not? There's energetic and health freedom, right? There's all these layers of freedom that you can build in. And it is this that I want to start sharing more about all of these different layers and how we can start building them into our life. And so I think that's a really good episode if you're like, yeah, I've never, I want to see freedom a different way. That is definitely um, an episode to go and listen to. But a large amount of the freedom we do experience comes from my health. A lot of it uh, is from having a very clear vision. And I want to make sure I'm incorporating that. And I think the other thing that I want to start also talking more about is how I look at freedom in relation to my time. Um, I worked with many clients over the years who very much feel that they don't have time for being present. They don't have time for the family in the way they want to experience. They don't have time for their health because they are so heavily wrapped up in their business. I mean, all of their time goes into it and not even just their physical time, but when they're at home, they're thinking about it. They have trouble disconnecting from their phone and clicking off, right? And I think what I really want to help us all understand is that time freedom is huge, right? And understanding like if we want to take care and optimize our health, we need to have time to do that. Um, There was an episode I did on the podcast with Sarah Young, episode 132. It's only a couple episodes ago. And her and I, she's a past client of mine. We had this really cool conversation where I wanted to highlight this aha moment she had in which she needed to have this like talk with herself, talk with her husband, where she had to recognize that she is choosing the life she has. And her brain kept telling her, you don't have time to go on these walks. You don't have time to eat well. You don't have time to exercise. But in fact, she was choosing her time and the things she was choosing her time to weren't giving her the life she wanted and the way she felt. And so what she actually had to do and what that episode is about is her unraveling the process of actually redesigning her business to make time for her health. Right. And it's fascinating. All the years that I've coached, It's so interesting to watch entrepreneurs try to work on their health. And here's how they do this. They have their fully occupied schedule with all of their work stuff. They have their kids, their drop-offs, kids' lessons. They have social events, their networking events. All of this stuff is on the calendar. And then they're like, and I'm going to be healthy. And so I'm going to cram in five one-hour workouts a week. I'm going to start sleeping an extra hour and a half a night. I'm going to do all this meal prep and all of this stuff. And they just add it on to an existingly full calendar and then it feels very exhausting to them and they're like I don't understand I'm so overwhelmed there's no time for this and then of course they'll go through a busier season like that client that I in episode 132 Sarah she would go through tax season she's a CFO so there'd be a busier season in her business I've had clients that have go gone through um launches where they will launch an entire workshop series and have dozens of other entrepreneurs collaborating in a summit type of thing. And it will take more of their bandwidth than they already were using on their business. And they were trying to keep with their health. And there were certain things we really had to start realizing that like, if you, the way we choose what we do in our business and how we spend our time is going to reflect how much time we have for the rest of our life and our health. So I think for understanding time, and I think you'll love this because there's going to be an episode coming out in a couple of weeks on time hacking and my perception on time freedom and how I have coached my mind to actually not feel behind and overwhelmed and busy. That's coming up in a couple of weeks. But I think we really need to understand and master time. And so these are the kind of pillars that have been emerging lately when it comes to what I define as a limitless life. And I I don't think I will ever be limitless. That is why this is called becoming limitless, because I think there's always an evolution. But I'm looking at this right now of like, okay, health 
energy and clarity is one pillar. And I think that is so important so that we can experience the life we have created, right? There is freedom around our time so that we can have the time to do the stuff we want. I think we need to talk about financial freedom because once financial freedom to me is when you have a source of income that is coming in that makes work optional for you, which means if you were to stop your business or not show up or you got sick or something happened for two weeks, a month, that all of your bills are covered. Like true financial freedom is when your investments make your work optional, right? Or some other thing you have set up, whether it's a completely passive system in your business, something like that gives you the option to choose not to work, right? That is a bucket that I think is really important. And then lastly, the last thing I think is essential is your mindset, right? Because if you have all the energy, you have all of the time, and you have all of the financial freedom, but if your mind and your brain is stuck in like, I can't do this, there's something wrong with me, or maybe uh, you don't know how to enjoy spare time and you feel like you should be working, so you feel guilty, or maybe you haven't developed a leisure time and hobbies yet, right? Or maybe you're always beating yourself up because you should do more, right? Like that was something I really struggled with over the last six months as I've uh, let go of a lot of the control over my business is I had a brain that was loudly yelling at me all of the time. It was like, you just because you can do less doesn't mean you should. You should be doing more. You are capable of more. Why would you just let this go? Like, what are you going to do with your life? Like my brain was really... um feisty with me on its opinions of what I should and shouldn't be doing and that I had built such an identity around being a six-figure business owner. Like that was who I was. It's who I've been for 10 years. So to let go of that is not my sole identity and inviting in options to discover who I am. And if you listen to last week's episode on seeking authenticity, a lot of this has come up, right? Like what do I want to do? Who do I want to be? And it's, it's, fascinating because when you when you find this next level of what you define as become limitless whether that be health financial freedom time or how you think about the world you get to find your next level right and so this part of my journey here and what you're going to be hearing a lot of going forward is about pursuing just what feels fun now right like I don't just want to talk about health because I feel like I've evolved. And I think that that's part of not only being an entrepreneur, but being a human being, right? I want to talk about all these different things and adventure and where that leads me, right? And those are all things that are part of this life that we've created that feels like it's becoming limitless. So together, me and you as a community, we are evolving and I would love to have you come along on this journey, right? And I mean, I've got another eight episodes batched coming up that are going to be going out to you that are going to cover everything, like I said, from time to investing, to health, to mindset. I actually have a really cool episode coming next week that is about an investment strategy that we've been exploring recently that I like, whoa, my brain was like, that exists? I didn't even know that exists. And I'm excited to hear. I'm actually interviewing one of my friends who has been quite successful and has... um, shared so much of this world with us. Anyways, I'm going to leave that to next week so that you can get excited about that. But basically, I want to help you create well-rounded freedom. I want to create and hold space for a community that wants more, but not from a place of where here is not enough right? Like I don't want to create a community that's always like seeking more, like how I was talking about earlier. Like you're just naturally keeping up with the Joneses, get to the next milestone, get to the next, get to the next, get to the next, right? I want to create a community that wants more because they want to see what's possible, right? Meaning like they're like, hey, my business is going good. My family's going good. Like, I like where things are going. I feel like, you know, I'm taking those next steps and evolving and becoming limitless. And I want to find out what's possible. I want more because that is built into the DNA of who I am. And it's not a drive to find value in myself or self-worth. It's because I want to find out what's possible. And it's exciting, right? It comes from a place of positivity and it's not driven from a place of disliking where you are now right and it's interesting I always say to my husband Flynn I say hey 
you know, if life never gets any better than this, like, we'll be good. And I want to create a community that sinks into that. Like, if life never gets any better than this, like, we've got it good. Because realistically, as my one of my friends says it, like, you came into this world naked, you'll leave this world naked, and you can't take any of it with you, right? So the what we're here for, I think, as humans is this experience of life. And I want to experience it, and I want to be grateful for the things that I think matter to me and build on that from there. Like, and if it doesn't get any better, great, but I'm always seeking that possibility of what could be because it's just fun, right? Because truly, like, I feel we've designed this life to be good. And for our family, slowing down was instrumental in that for us. Like, being able to take away the expectations and the busyness and all of that, this has been so such an integral part of us finding freedom. And the most magical part of it all is every time that we slow down, the universe invites in the most inspired ideas and we are gifted with our next level. And so that's, I think, the biggest thing that has changed for me is if you would have met me a year ago, I was chasing that next level. I was chasing ideas. I was chasing growth. But in this season of life, that acceptance, that gratitude, and that stillness, that ability to slow down and be present and live life in the absence of rush, I really do think the universe has, because we are slowed down, the universe then gifts us with the next level because we have been gifted with so many levels over the last couple of years because we have been willing to slow down enough so that it was quiet enough that I could hear that gift. Because when you are dead set on dragging life to the goal line, I'm going to tell you, it feels a lot different than when you just are in gratitude. And it's funny, it's it's a cool thing having experienced it. And that's what I want to share with you. And that's where I see us pivoting in this podcast. So we are still going to be all about becoming limitless. And I want to invite you on that. And if this is something that you are excited about and you are like, yes, I'm ready to evolve. I want health. I want financial independence. I want a mindset. I want control of my time then can you reach out to me on Instagram and be like, yep, let's go. Let's do this. We're in. And I'm so excited to have you. So we start evolving as of today and the pivot is happening. So me and you, like, let's go. Let's truly become limitless, whatever that means for you. I'm going to be here sharing what it has looked like for us, the process all of that, what I view as freedom. But I want you to use this as not a milestone or a bar to reach, but instead as a source of inspiration. You know, maybe maybe you heard about living life a way that you've never thought before. I did a, um, an interview on a podcast a couple of months ago, and I casually mentioned this idea that we're going to be world schooling our kids. And it was not a couple months later that I was talking with this podcast host again. And she's like, you know, you said world schooling and I could not forget it. And now we're signed up. We're going this winter. We're going to be doing world schooling. I think it was in Spain, she said. And it's sometimes you just never know the one idea that you are going to hear that is going to change the trajectory of your life and help you then get to that next level of becoming limitless. And that's that's what this podcast is all about. So I'm going to be... Going forward, I'm going to be doing this podcast on a frequency that feels good. I'm going to be recording when I feel inspired and excited. There's going to be a mix of content styles. But if you are go- also want like another way to tap into this world of freedom, and I know I mentioned it on the last podcast, but I have been leaning into what feels fun. And for me, that has been writing. I am a writer at heart. If you might not know this, but I've actually written two full-length novels that have never been published. I have written multiple short stories. I have written an entire children's series. When I was actually about 10 years old, I I still have them all. Um, And so I was leaning back into what works for me, and it's sharing through writing. So I stumbled across, literally, I think early June, uh, Substack, which is 
I don't know, I guess the reemergence of long form written content. And I have been writing and, and at the beginning, you know, I didn't share it with a single soul. And I started talking about it a little bit on Instagram and it's got some legs now. Um, I've got subscribe. It's cool. You can email subscribe to it or you can just read it directly off the website. Um, it's a cool little blog and I've called it the Freedom Diaries. And essentially I'm just documenting how our family reached financial independence by 33 years old. We're 35 now, so we've been doing it for over two years um, where work has been optional. And now, you know, stuff's going into a storage locker in 10 days. We're going to be traveling the world um, part time. And what this adventure looks like, I'm going to be, there's already like, I think 15 articles that are on there. I document everything from why we sold our home to rent back in 2021, our investment style. Um, I talk about what slow living is. There's mindset stuff. There's stuff on um, the crypto space we're exploring now. So if you're wanting to, um, hear from me more frequently, kind of be invested into this world of growth and becoming limitless and enjoy that on the Freedom Diaries. I'll leave a link in the description. Basically, you can just go to substack.tanessa, or I think it's tanessashears.substack.com and you can find me there and you can join that community because I'm going to be sending regular emails out just with the content that I'm creating. It's from the heart. I don't have anything to offer around this right now. It's literally just me following passion and fun and finding space so that the universe can come in and show me exactly where I need to go next. But I hope this has been kind of just a fun episode that has maybe asked you to reflect on yourself and kind of like where you are and what is that next level of freedom for you? What does it look like for you? And then what would be the next step to get there? I'm so excited over the coming weeks to be diving into this with you. I hope you have a beautiful week and if you're staying with us, which I hope you are, thank you. If you've been a listener for a long time, thank you. I'm so excited to get to evolve with you. Have a beautiful week. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Learn something new in this episode or feel inspired to take action? I'd love for you to share it with a friend and leave a review. Your review will help one more entrepreneur feel healthier, more energized, and focused. If you feel good about helping a friend or a fellow business owner you've never even met, you are my kind of people. I'm excited to help you become limitless in the coming episodes.